My MLS Cup pick is going to be LAFC. They've won the hardware before from the Supporters Shield, got so close in CONCACAF Champions League, but I think this is the year they finally get the MLS Cup. Uh, I think they may win the Supporter Shield too. My favorites, odd on healthy, Carlos Vela, Diego Rossi, and, and much more solid in the back. I think this year, it's all about LAFC. My MLS Cup champions for 2021, you guessed it, the Columbus crew. The roster is somehow even stronger than it was in 2020 with the additions of Kevin Molino, BWP, Alexandre Matan. The attack is potent. The midfield is creative. The defense is rock solid. They have a coach that knows how to win and a shiny new stadium to boot. The crew will be the first club to repeat as champions since the Galaxy did it back in 2011 and 2012. You heard it here. Predicting the MLS Cup winner months in advance before the biggest moves in the league have even been made, it's a crapshoot. But as of now, early in 2021, I think that the Columbus crew and LAFC stand out heads and shoulders above the rest of the league. Coin flip lands on LAFC. They finally get that MLS Cup. Columbus crew, they win MLS Cup in 2020, and they've only gotten better since then. This is one of the great returning MLS Cup winning rosters in MLS history. So I'm going to pick them to do it again and get it done back to back years. Columbus crew for MLS Cup champions 2021. My pick to win MLS Cup is the Columbus crew. They know how to win big games. They are deep. They have difference makers all over the field. And they added some great quality players this offseason with the likes of Kevin Molino and Bradley Wright Phillips. Oh, and not to mention that every time they step on the pitch, they will arguably have the best player on the field in Lucas Zellerion. It won't be easy, but the Columbus Crew are my pick to go back-to-back -back MLS Cup champs, the first team to do it since the 2011-2012 LA Galaxy. 2021, without a doubt, for all of us, is going to be the year to make up for what was stolen from us in 2020. And in MLS, it's no exception. And I think that means Sebastian Blanco and Joseph Martinez are going to be on a revenge tour with their teams behind them. I see a 2018 MLS Cup all over again, Portland in Atlanta, and red, black, and gold confetti falling at the end. Oh, MLS Cup predictions. I've learned my lesson. Don't try to be cute. Don't try to be the hipster. That means it's going to be crew LAFC in the final. And I already told you, Carlos Vela is the best player in the league. If he wants this, it's his LAFC. You're lifting the Philip F. Anschutz trophy. My 2021 MLS MVP, Columbus Crews, Lucas Zellerian. We saw incredible things through the playoffs and, of course, MLS Cup. Who could forget but I don't know if we've seen the best of him yet in MLS. And that's a scary sign for other teams. Eight goals and three assists last year. I think he could easily double that with the wealth of options around him. Zellerian gets the MVP. My MLS MVP in 2021 is Lucas Zellerian of the Columbus Crew. The 2020 MLS Newcomer of the Year is going to collect another award that he can add to his collection this season uh, because he is the fulcrum of that blistering Columbus attack. He is so skillful with the ball. His passing his finishing, everything. He's going to have to get a few more tattoos, I think, uh, by the end of this season. Only one man has won two MVP awards in MLS history, the great Preki. In 2021, LAFC's Carlos Vela will join him. He's the best player in the league. He's fit, he's healthy, and he has a full array of attacking weapons around him for one of the two best teams in MLS. Well, you want to talk about 2021 MLS MVP? Just look to 2020 MLS Cup MVP, Lucas Zellerion. He claimed a flag as one of the great number 10s in this league in the MLS Cup final this year. He's going to do it over a full year and make himself the star of this league. My pick for the MVP this year is Columbus Crews, Lucas Zellerion. In his first year, he was nothing short of spectacular, earning him Newcomer of the Year as well as MLS Cup MVP honors. He can hurt teams in so many different ways, scoring goals, setting up goals. In addition, the crew brought in some quality players this offseason with the likes of Kevin Molino and Bradley Wright Phillips. So I believe it's his ability, the people around him, and his increased comfort level in year two of MLS that has him primed to take his game to another level. Shocker for 2021 MLS MVP. I am going with LAFC's Carlos Vela. A healthy Vela with a little more time and comfort in this league, I think, is going to be a very scary thing. We saw what the guy could do in 2019, absolutely shattering the record books. I think we're in for a good one in 2021.
Who will win the Landon Donovan Most Valuable Player in MLS for 2021? Well, I say trust the best player in the league when he tells you that he wants to win it for himself and his team. That's Carlos Vela of LAFC. It's his if he wants it. My golden boot pick, Joseph Martinez. Yes, he's back. He's coming back with a vengeance. I think a lot of players need to ease their way in from ACL injuries. Not Joseph. He gets off to a fast start, continues it going. Golden boot and starts chasing down the all-time records again. My MLS Golden Boot winner for 2021 is Jazzy Zardes of the Columbus Crew. I know, I can't get off the crew train, but there's a good reason for it. He is always a scoring threat, has been throughout his entire career, but this is going to be the season where Jazzy absolutely shines. Columbus has so many pieces around him that are equipped to set him up inside the box. I predict a 20-plus goal-scoring season for Jazzy, and he will take home the Golden Boot. On the face of it, the golden boot race seems like a two-man race between Carlos Vela and Atlanta United's Joseph Martinez. Between the two of them, it's kind of a coin flip, but I'm going to go with Joseph, in part because I don't think he's going to skip a beat after returning from the ACL injury, and in part because I think Vela is going to be more of a playmaker this year. So make it a second golden boot for Joseph. Well, when you talk golden boot for 2021, you got to remember the king has returned. Carlos Vela, an MLS goal scoring record setter, has returned. He's healthy. He's ready to go for LAFC. He's locked in. So I'm picking Carlos Vela for 2021 golden boot. My pick for the golden boot in 2021 is Atlanta United's Joseph Martinez. In Joseph's three season prior to 2020, he has goal totals of 19, 31, and 27 in the regular season. The man is simply one of the best and arguably the best goal scorer we've ever seen in MLS. I expect him to do what he does oh so well, and that's light up the scoreboard in 2021. Joseph is back, baby! Is there even a question? Give the guy a second golden boot. Joseph Martinez, the fiercest competitor in this league, just had to sit out from playing soccer for over a year, and that means one thing. This guy has tunnel vision for the goal with an exclamation point. Expect him to make history again. Oh, the race for the golden boot. There are some variables this year. Will players be gone on international duty? Okay, Copa America and Raul Ruiz Diaz, he would be a favorite, but he might not be around enough. I don't think Joseph Martinez will be there, and I know what Joseph is if he wants the ball in the back of the net. He's the golden boot winner. Shout out to Robert Barrich as a dark horse. My MLS newcomer to watch is FC Cincinnati's Brenner. The 21-year-old Brazilian coming in will add some much-needed punch and goals paired with Lucho Acosta, Brenner, your newcomer of the year. My newcomer to watch in 2021 is Brenner with FC Cincinnati. After finishing dead last in scoring last year, FC Cincinnati are in desperate need of some firepower. And that is going to come in the form of 21-year-old Brazilian striker Brenner, who scored 20 goals last season in Sao Paulo. Add Lucho Acosta into this mix, and I am officially dubbing a new moniker for another soon-to-be iconic goal-scoring duo. Brucho, you're welcome. There haven't actually been a ton of huge signings this offseason, but obviously you should pay attention to the biggest names. Cincinnati's Brazilian striker Brenner, and then the Austin FC duo of Cecilio Dominguez, who's a winger, and Thomas Pochettino, the Argentinian central midfielder, kind of a number eight, kind of a number 10. He's the one I'm most interested in seeing in 2021. When you look at newcomers this year in MLS, the big name has to be the man for the expansion side, Austin FC, Thomas Pochettino. There is a lot of grit. There's a lot of MLS know-how in this team. He is the crown jewel, that big piece that's going to make it all run. My newcomer to watch this year is FC Cincinnati's Brenner, one of the most sought-out players in all the world this past transfer window and one of the most expensive incoming transfers in MLS history. The 21-year-old Brazilian is coming off his best season in Brazil with Sao Paulo. He can score goals and be a nightmare for defenses. A ton of eyes will be on him in 2021, as well as some high expectations. 2021 MLS Newcomer of the Year. Hmm, well, there's nothing like a new club, a new fan base, and a new guy to make it happen. I am picking Tomas Pacchino. I think he's going to be an instant fan favorite for the good people down at Austin FC. A playmaker, a guy that can direct traffic. And hey. Get a couple goals. Uh, newcomer of the year. I'm sure you've heard all the familiar suspects from Austin FC and beyond, but I'm saying Alexander Pato. Come on now. It's not every day that you get a former Brazilian legend still trying to keep his career going back in our league, and he looks good in preseason too. Can he replace Daryl DK? We shall see another name for you. Santiago Sosa of Atlanta United. Can he step right in for Gabriel Heinze? I can't wait to find out.